because they were just waiting. You know, their money was just waiting to buy a pallet. You know, everybody's making pallets now. You know, we never leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. Hi, Bees and Curls. Welcome back for another video. It is a Maintenance Monday, yes, and we are back into chill mode in my bathroom. You guys tend to like the bathroom. Mm. I feel like it's relaxed and chill, but whenever I'm talking about skincare, whenever I'm talking about like maybe a hair routine or something in terms of like washing my hair, I think I'm going to do those type of videos in the bathroom. I was trying to figure out a setup, and you guys helped me out so much. You said that. You like the setup so today's video is talking about Botox and bottles again so we talked about Tati's hair skin and nail booster pills in the last maintenance Monday not in the last maintenance Monday it was like three weeks ago I told you I would come back with an update and not necessarily in terms of hair but just some of the things that I'm observing I am going to come with a final review a final of my thoughts but let me tell you three weeks told me a lot the first thing in about a week and a half I can tell you that I did notice now these were some unexpected ones because I didn't notice there was one expected but there were two that were really unexpected so let's talk about the expected results that I got now she did say that there was some hydration to the skin that was going to happen and I definitely say that that is true I did realize that I'm sorry you guys if you see me and I look quite radiant I have on a face mask and it's a hydrating mask so I'm gonna be taking it off while we're talking this is kind of good, like gonna be a chit chat get ready with me so I did talk about my face mask in another video you'll see that coming but we're talking about Tati's you know the HS HSN at first when I heard that I was like HSN in terms of like like buying stuff on TV but no that's hair skin and nails but I'm gonna take this off while I talk to you guys so the first expected definitely was the hydration I did get some hydration to my skin and I really did enjoy that because before a lot of times especially being in California and it being a dry climate you definitely can feel like the dryness in the environment so I did I was like okay I feel hydration in my skin and it wasn't like hydration like somebody threw water on my face it was hydration as in like uh, it just felt like my skin could breathe. I don't know if that makes any sense to you all, but I understand. I don't know if I can just put it exactly into words, but that's kind of like what I mean by that. The other thing that I noticed, these are two things that I noticed that were unexpected. Y'all, with probably without within a week and a half, and that was pretty much the only thing I had changed, is that I noticed that I could sleep better. And that is the only thing that I could change, that I changed. I slept a whole lot better. Now, it was very, very weird because not only did I sleep better, this was the biggest change that was unexpected. I was dreaming. Y'all, I the last time I dreamt was when I was pregnant. And I only dreamt, dreamt, is that a word? I only could dream when I was pregnant. It was so weird. Because, you know, sometimes when you've gone through things, it's kind of like a mechanism that your brain and your body does where it kind of like shuts down or shuts off certain parts where it, you can survive. I mean, that's basically what your brain does. And so it was so surprising to me. That was like the most unexpected thing ever is that I was not only sleeping better, but I actually could dream. I don't know if that had any, well, that was the only thing that I could change. And it was like this, this is the only thing that I could pinpoint it to the point where, you know how you dream and you forget, well, I can still remember my dreams. So I feel like my thought processes have been a lot more clearer. I feel like I've been a more alert. So those are like the biggest changes in the last three weeks that I have noticed that really hasn't stopped. So I really like that. In terms of the hydration of my skin, I can definitely tell a difference. But also I've been, 
I can't just give it to just Tati's pills in terms of or the hair skin and nail booster just to the hydration it did give it a boost and it says a hair skin and nail booster it's not going to solve all of your like skincare needs or your things it's just going to give you a boost and I, that's what I think people should remember when when we are talking about this is it going to be your miracle savior of a pill Definitely not. I don't think so. I think that those unexpected things does intrigue me to keep using the product. But like I said, I'm very curious if it will stop once I start another skincare uh, using a, a hair growth vitamin because y'all know I'm trying out some other ones. And I, I think I'm going to introduce another one that I got from Gen Beauty. It's from a brand called Hum. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But I think that it definitely did some things that it claimed to do and it did some things unexpectedly that I didn't know it would do so that's where I am in three weeks I hope that gives you guys kind of like a it kind of gives you all kind of like an update of where I am I do okay so let me talk about this before I get off the other thing that I noticed is that those pills are pretty big even for capsules the other thing that I like is the fact that you can put in a smoothie or drink or whatever you don't have to look if you don't like the pink dye that's on the pills because people are freaking out but I'm like okay but you drink artificial drinks that have like artificial coloring in it so why are people so like I don't know if it's because it's supposed to be a healthy peel and it's pink you know I don't know anyway it's, I'm not even tripping that I feel like if everything else is healthy, why would she put an unhealthy capsule on the outside of what's supposed to be good? Okay, I think that would be kind of contradicting. But anyway, everybody has their own opinion on that. But you can always open up the capsule, capsule and get all the goodness out. Now, the good thing about capsules, I would say it will say uh, gel capsules in terms of it being rather than a tablet does allow your body to break down the product or the ingredients a lot faster. I don't know if you guys know that that's what a capsule does in terms of a tablet because it has to break down a lot faster when because that that capsule is biodegradable or you know once it hits your stomach the acid or the bile in your stomach the acid in your stomach actually like disintegrates that capsule and you absorb the products a lot easier I know I didn't want to get into this that's what I feel about the product let me know what you want me to try next because I think we have like four the, the main choice oh let me talk about this update main choice has something that's called like a hair growth vitamin to go where you can put it in water and it's like a drink it's like pink lemonade or something has anybody seen that comment down below let me see the tell me if you guys have seen that and what do you think about that okay because that's a different way of like hair growth <laughs> I'm so intrigued I love the fact that people are uh, brands are being so innovative with hair growth and it's just not stopping with a pill that they can actually do it to go and I'm like go main choice okay let me know what you guys think about that in comparison to Halo Beauty because is there really a difference like Halo Beauty I mean main choice is their main market is hair or hair products and they have this on the side let me know what you think about it because they marketed, I want to say they started off with the hair products and then went to a hair growth pill. But Tati is starting off with a hair, skin, and nail pill and then going into and broadening her horizons into beauty. Let me know if that matters to you guys. But yeah, I think that's some good discussion there because I think marketing tips or marketing strategies play a big part as to what people like and what they don't so far i heard that it's very successful i think a lot of people just was thrown off by that because they were just waiting you know their money was just waiting to buy a palette you know everybody's making palettes now i'm kind of glad that she did something different but she went like totally unexpected what everybody thought so at least you know that she can keep you on your toes i'm going to come with my hair trimming before i come with my final results 
or my final thoughts on and it's not really my final thoughts y'all because I've only used this for 30 30 days you know what I mean I don't know you'll see if I want to keep using this or do I need to stop is it worth the $50 I hope she does have sales though but because a girl like a, a good sale you know what I'm saying I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna leave thanks so much for watching comment down below let me know what you think about all of these hair growth things Botox in a bottles Botox in bottles if you haven't seen that video check it out up here see you in the next video bye